Something very special and very exotic, the Spiker. They've been around for years, and this is something special. I got to tell you, it's got quilted leather inside the car. It's got racing seats. It's for the track, yet you can drive it on the street. Hans, thanks for joining us so much. Tell me about this car and what your favorite part of the car is. Well, uh, you're looking at the new Spiker C8 Aileron. We've been producing short wheelbase cars up till last year, and this is a new car. And I cannot find anything that I don't like about it, but it is, again, a Spiker with an aviation history. It uses the same 4.2 V8 that we had used in the other cars, 400 horsepower, car weighs around 1,325 kilos. Now, obviously, uh, the weight uh, contributes to how fast it goes and how well it handles. Yeah. Aircraft heritage can be seen in the car. One of the things Absolutely. I like the most is the transmission, the shifter in the car yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, and I think it, 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 that the aircraft lineage comes out of that. I love what you did with the hood scoop over the the uh, the the kind of the cockpit of the yeah. car. Yeah, yeah. It's it's beautiful. Can you? talk to some of the aerodynamic features like uh, that? For instance, uh, the, the, the one you just said, the air intake, uh, it goes right into the engine. Engine needs uh, air to breathe, to produce horsepower, so it's another one. On the side you have the same thing, you have the cooling system on the top and the cooling system for the brakes on the bottom. I was going to ask if that was for the brakes, um, and, and I've had cars where you have cooling systems like that for the brakes, and it really does a wonderful job of cooling the brakes, especially when you're on the track. Yeah. Now, what about driving this in New York City? Is there any possibility of that kind of thing happening? <laughs> well, I hope so, uh, even though I'm not that familiar with New York City. I just came in last night, and I saw some of the uh, the roads. You're going to have a hard time with this car, uh, scraping down when you get through a pothole or something. But if you can find some clear, uh, oh, smooth roads. Go for it. Then for sure you go for it. Absolutely. Zero to 60 is? Zero to 60 is in 4.3 seconds. How about the top speed? We're doing it close to 200? 200 miles, yeah, just under 200 miles. How about the handling in this car? Would you say it, it handles better than just about anything else out well, there? Well, it is uh, definitely a step up from what we did before. Uh, we did it with a group of engineering in England that together we came up with uh, this new uh, concept and this new way of uh, uh, building the chassis. And uh, I must say this is a proper GT car, a proper Gran Turismo. It drives beautifully. I drove. 1500, 1600 kilometers with it and uh, and drove it on the track and then drove all the way back and no problem whatsoever. Does that mean it's comfortable? Very, yes. yes. And, and you don't you don't feel it needs a V12 or a V10? No, no, no. Um, the, the V8 is perfect for what it is. Uh, keeps it light. So, keeps it light. Sometimes it's, it's, you trade off, you get a bigger engine but you add weight to the car. Exactly. And, exactly. and this, um, uh, there's a couple of signatures of Spiker. One is of course the look but especially the exposed linkage that we always use whether it's an, uh, an automatic or whether it's a regular six-speed. It's always the exposed linkage, the aviation look but also the sound. There's a few things that people always remember about Spiker. And they say, oh, that sound, that V8 sound. It was incredible when the car came around the corner. Don't get that from a V12. You don't get it. Oh, it's different. It is a fantastic sound. It well, is it's high pitch, and it's different. And we somehow got married to this this V8 sound, and it's it stuck to us. Take me through the car a little bit. So obviously we've got all these beautiful lines on the car. How do you open the car? Well, that's a good question because I... Wow. I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> We've got a shaved door handle almost. We've got a, a little a little door knob under the mirror. Now, it's very comfortable. I like it. It's nice and cozy in here. I like uh, cockpits that wrap around you. Mm -hmm. I like lots of gauges, and, and, and it's got all of that. This is really exciting. Now, yeah. this is, is possibly my favorite. I want to get into the rest of the car, mm -hmm. but it, is this an airplane-style yeah. toggle? And then you push that one up. And you push it up. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. It's exactly now the, the launch codes, Mr. Launch President. Codes. <laughs> exactly. Now these days, it's more common that cars have an uh, have an keyless entry, right. etc., which, uh, which we have here. But uh, when we started this in 2000, we definitely were the first ones. Now any Renault, Clio has it, but. Uh, I want these for my light switches in my house, but now I want the Spiker more than ever because this is awesome. I, I think that's a great yeah, toggle switch, yeah. and it does make me think of fighter planes yes, exactly. uh, or, or launch codes. What you have to do is you, you imagine, uh, when we designed the cockpit, you imagine that a pilot goes into his, uh, into his cockpit and goes click, 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 and have all these, and they make a metal-to-metal -metal sound, and click, not a zoom, electronic zoom, but 
a metal to metal sound. So yeah. you have your pilot that goes click, 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 and everything starts to work. And that's what we wanted to have. All right, so take me through this car. It's beautiful inside. I love the metal switches. It's beautiful outside. Uh, you got a, a lot of room in here. Yep. You've got uh, this glass roof, which is a great addition. It starts um, dark when the sun is on it, so you don't sit in an oven. That's great, too. Um, and, and so take me through the car. So this is the first car, yeah. the uh, Spiker car, and that's why it's longer and wider, that is having a complete uh, automatic uh, gearbox, a ZF automatic torque converter. So since Spiker uh, has one of the signatures, the exposed linkage, we still have the exposed linkage. From here, you put it in different, from park to drive to reverse to neutral, etc. The rest you do on the steering wheel. So you up and down, you switch uh, uh, your gearbox, you just up and down one this, like this. And that's about it.